No pun intended. Uh, I was wondering if they're trying to do like a Legion thing, and like it's like oh, like uh, it seems like, like she. Their I mind. mean, yeah. I mean, I think that's part of it. It is established that it's created, you know. Yeah. Uh, like little pocket universe. Yeah, or, uh, like she created it out of maybe her grief when he died in the movies. Spoiler. Interesting. Ooh. Hi, ho, we, we, everybody. We're talking about an ad oh. you probably saw. We're talking about WandaVision. Yep. So we're buying into the system, guys. I'm we're curious. Bored. I'm curious, but I'll wait. <laughs> if it, if it Thanks, gets even JT. mild reviews, I'll just be like, yeah, fuck it. What's up, Good pizza? To be back. What's up, pizza? Yeah. Hey, Jado. Hey, pizza. Pet pet P. Pet P. Mean, you need a way to hyphenate your name. Petra P. Pet P. Mm. That's an w- awful one, I think. Mm. <laughs> it has like a 90 something percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I do not trust Rotten Tomatoes. They. Uh, Tell me, sure. They, uh, they have some deals worked out where it's me. like they hold back ratings until so it looks like something's really good. And then, like, then when the Metacritic score, I don't know. Don't trust it yet. Wow, you've been watching the series from episode one, Pizza? That's impressive. Holy shit. Like, incredible. It's what? hundreds of episodes. How many yeah, episodes is that, Jason? What are we we're, on? Here? We're, we're at uh, 302. Oh my That's, God. Tonight is 302. Pizza. Respect. Holy shit. Wow. That's dedication. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I don't have that either kind of dedication. Yeah. I don't trust movie critics. Ex- I don't know. There's like yeah, Red Letter Media I trust. Just... Like there's few people I trust. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like 100% friends. believe of everything. Because everyone has their own opinion. But if they like recommend something, I'll watch it. And if they don't, you know, at least they give good reasons. Don't trust paid yeah. movie critics. Yeah, exactly. Where do you think they're getting that money from? Mm-hmm. The well, studios yeah, themselves. It... Mm-hmm. The junket reporters. Yeah. This is the fourth movie I watched today, and it was shit. Do you yeah. think maybe it was because you spent eight hours in a movie theater today that <laughs> I'd wow, be hating on, the fourth movie? Yeah. Holy you're shit, pizza. One. Wow. All right. Dunking away. You're, ca- you're catching up. So you're, you're, you, should, you should build our uh, AIpedia. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do love Jay Sherman. <laughs> he's the only yeah. paid critic. I... He's a reputable critic. And he gets low ratings because of it. This is an SCP. Hey, Raindrop. Welcome, welcome. Let's get right into it. Yeah, happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. I've been tapping all night, my hands went on the keys. Weekend time. And it's Oprah's voice that rattles my knees. When I get lonely and I need some comedy. Comedy. I turn to Jason, Tony, Jim, and Corey. Good thing it's Minus the Jim. show! Jim's on the plane we on his way to Thailand! What prompts will we get tonight? AIPD. Hope he gets there safe and doesn't have to run into any bullshit. Yeah, do they know where Jim is, the audience? Uh, Yeah, Jim's a, Jim is on the plane to Thailand, so wish him safe travels. Hope he doesn't get sent back. Uh... Yeah, hope he makes it there. And then he has to quarantine for two weeks. So he should. He uh, said once he gets to the hotel, he'll, he has nothing to do and he can't really leave. So he'll probably be waking up and hopping back on. So we might see him, yeah. see him on Monday. So we'll see. The critic's name is Commode. Wow. Commode. Okay, I'll, I'll look that mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm always yeah, interested to see more more critics that are I trust like, like my fr- I find friends with a similar like with similar tastes as me and then I trust them. Yeah. That is exactly right, Biz. Disney is more like a movie factory at this point. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is. Yeah. Oh, cur mode. Okay. I I watched Soul and very much thought I was like, man, this hits all the beats. Like like you felt manipulated? Yes, every little check mark that needs to be in a Pixar film. Oh, really? I heard it was really good, so I was like, okay. But interesting, yeah. Give it a shot. You might, it just, I could feel like the fish hooks 
pulling at the heartstrings. Like <laughs> normally they sneak them in. Ah, mm. okay. But you felt like it, they were going through a checklist. Yeah. It's like this is the part where I feel them. Uh well, I would say the fifth the first fifteen minutes of Sister Act Two is the best for sneaking into other movies. <laughs> All right, let's ten go. out of ten. Watch something else. Yeah, All right, let's... check out the Mandalorian. Yeah, guys. there you go. Watch more than the first fifteen minutes of that. Yeah, and I'm gonna recommend Bridges Bridgerton. For Wait, what? One. Don't worry. Bridgerton. 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 Uh, it's like this, like if you like Downton Abbey, it's like like uh, uh, Britain in the early 1800s, but it's about this family. But it's very diverse. It's by Shonda Rhimes. It's it's good. It's like it's a trashy Downton Abbey. It's good. Good sex scenes. Yeah. Mm. Like porn I'm doesn't up, exist. I'm up to get filthy. Yeah. Uh, this first prompt is by Nubs. Thank you, Nubs. Nubs. You are Steve. Super horny. A shop manager shopping at IKEA. Uh, I think this is one of the the top uh prompts. But I'll still take it. The stop, one of the top user prompts or whatever. Because uh, I remember seeing Infinite in Kia, Ikea way back. Wait, this is uh, plagiarism? Uh, not exactly. Th- he might have wrote this. Who knows? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, anyway, once you retrieved your child's toy, you realize your loss. As you explore further, you realize there is no end to the Ikea. It seems infinite. All right, let's go into the infinite IKEA. Wow, I've heard they redesigned. Look around though. and see shelves of furniture, tables, cabinets, everything you could want or need in one place. Okay. Then you notice a door with an arrow pointing to it on the wall. It says "Enter." <laughs> but where's the exit? <clears throat> Is the exit the opposite way? Am I supposed to just guess? Let's fondle some Swedish meatballs. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Graham Montgomery notices you are lost and offers you some s- sweet. G- Graham Montgomery. <laughs> oh, yeah, Montgomery. <laughs> Mon- Montgomery. Graham Montgomery. I like that last name. The eternal manager of IKEA. My uh, friends call me the Mongler. No, the dis- Mongler. Notices you are lost and offers you some. Uh, Swedish meatballs. Which have an alluring scent. It may or may not contain horse meat. Yeah. I'd pay extra for horse meat. I don't know why everyone's complaining. I was say, when people were like, oh, there's horse meat in my food, I was working in a restaurant and we were all like, that shit's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> he explains that he has been looking for you since you left your home. He then leads you through a series of rooms until he finds you, a large room filled with bookshelves, where Graham keeps his personal library. Oh, wow. He, like, has his... Reaper. He kind of lives there. Yeah. You realize Graham lives at the library. Of course, he's kind of bland. Yeah, it's not something I would seek out. Yeah. Is it legal to eat? Uh, I don't know. Graham, I'm switching my name. (laughs) You are Graham Montgomery, a bookish man who (coughs) loves to read and goes to the library all the time, your wife says. Whoa, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, Also, we're married? (laughs) He was like, where'd you come from? She's like, I've been here the whole time. Oh, in France, it's legal. Interesting. Secretly, you hate books. And all you do is go to the club, but you tell your wife you're always reading. I'm so yeah. tired from being at the library all day, honey. <laughs> uh, of course, a raccoon would know where you can eat horse meat. Uh, Should we redo that? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> or uh, actually, oh, here we go. Misha's got the, oh, okay. the follow up line. You say, Ooh, shut you up. You're not my fucking wife. I'm married to my job. I'm married to the mob. My mob job. Grandma Tomary looks down with shame and closes his mouth. 
Then, you realize it, you are reading your own thoughts. Oh, uh, what? You laugh aloud, and the sound echoes throughout the room. So I think we thought we were Steve, but I think it turns out we managed this IKEA. We're in some sort of weird I don't know. Well, we, we are a shop manager customers. The... Yeah. Oh, because cool. we're going crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we made Steve. He was just looking for his child who lost their toy. Ah. Yeah, Zenith, we tried the scoring system and we hit I didn't like it. Yeah. Unless it was... they updated it. It was it was weird. And I felt like it was like not uh, recognizing things correctly because this is yeah. like we don't do this for the points. Yeah. We do this for the money from yeah. our subscribers. What's up, Federico? Federico. Did you see they added you, Jason? Who? What? Who? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. More redemption. I haven't been, God, I haven't been to Ikea in so long. I haven't been anywhere in so long. I have been there exactly once. And I was just like, this is too overwhelming. And I just order stuff off of Amazon. <laughs> yeah, it can be. But they have really cool shit, I think. I'm a big fan of Ikea furniture. Yeah. The Scandinavian groove is my groove, baby. Mr. Jackpot. Hey, thanks, Real Golden Tusk. Yeah. Thank you. Your mind wanders as Jason, the streamer who is extremely angry that IKEA doesn't have butter. This is why we do it, guys. It is not healthy. There's several complaints about how bad this fake butter tastes. If you want to be amused, look up IKEA Heights. These people without permission shot a soap opera inside IKEA. Yes, yes, I've seen that. Uh, with uh, I think it's called IKEA Heights. With uh, what's his name for? Who was in the Dictator? Uh, yeah, uh, Randall Park. Yeah, Randall Park. He's yeah. very funny. Yeah, yeah. I wish he would get more stuff. He was on Fresh Off the Boat. You look down and see a table covered Today? in wallpaper paste. No? Okay. Which you then realize has accidentally <laughs> spilled. It's not enough for you. Suddenly, you laugh aloud mm. again. This time, the echo reverberates throughout the room. So, uh, wait a second. <laughs> uh, Jason, the story's just eating wallpaper paste? And it was because <laughs> of an accident? I don't know. Classic Jason. I saw it was poured on the table, and I thought... Yeah. Why let it go to waste? Yeah, I thought this was lingonberry paste. Uh, Zenith, I have not tried the infinite IKEA SCP scenario, but this is this is what reminded me. I think of we're it. trying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is it. I think we're in it. Yeah. You try to walk back to the entrance. You walk out of the library, down another hall, and find yourself in front the of the exit. exit. You walk oh. outside, into the parking lot, and through it. Okay! Oh, Randall Park's gonna be on WandaVision. Oh shit! What a coincidence, yeah. Wish granted, Jason. Hey! I willed it. Hey, Randall, if you want more work, just let me say, yep. will it into the universe. Speak your truth. Yeah. You get into your Ford Fiesta and drive home. <laughs> where you where you see your manager and go, so where did you go? Mm. And we're like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yep. You open the door to your studio apartment. To see the inside of Ikea. And your manager standing there. How did you like our parking lot model? What? The parking lot is endless. Yeah, I, and in Ikea, that's kind of true. I think it's creepier if you find your car. Oh, I thought, she's still were, in you not, were you not writing that Ford Fiesta thing? Uh, oh, yeah. They yell, you're late. Just typing all that in. At the same time, and then look at each other and laugh. Oh, they fucking know something we don't. Mm. <laughs> this is creepy. 
What? You scream, tell me what you know. Yeah, dude, that's a good one. Maybe they'll explain this. Uh, you think they know something. You don't. And you scream. Tell me what's going on here. Why can't I leave this godforsaken Ikea? You've always been why, here, Steve. Why would you, you back want to away leave? from the manager Everything and then run out here. of your apartment? Oh. Grant takes his hand off of his pistol and you get into your car. He opens the passenger side door and gets in. Ah! We're having a Tyler Durden situation where yeah, yeah. we're in the passenger seat and the driver's seat. <laughs> yeah. He, he explains straddling. That, that you can escape this situation by dot dot dot. Oh, I think you eat this gun. Going to a specific place at a specific time. Okay. A few minutes after midnight, you will be able to exit the store through the front entrance, past all the police cars, and into the parking lot. Oh, okay. Interesting. Mm. But why will there be police there? Yeah, yeah. Maybe because they know that to stop anyone from escaping the, the IKEA. You hide in the IKEA ball pit <laughs> there's a ball pit yeah there's where the kill children like the daycare the ikea daycare <laughs> oh my ball God. pit where they kill children in the ball pit yeah ball pit <laughs> until midnight oh, I, I shudder to think that i used to play in ball pits oh yeah <laughs> no, knowing how disgusting like they are urine urine coated ball pits yeah you hide under a crib <laughs> you hide in a wardrobe you hide in a bathroom. Yeah, we're too... You hide behind a stack of carpeted stairs. You hide in a storage closet. All right, all this moving around is way more conspicuous than... Just... Oh, the places you'll hide. Yeah. Go to the White Lodge, you find the Red Room, yeah. It's a meatball pit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Find the, the, the non-plastic balls. Ikea has been bought by Raindrop Industries, so... Might be. Might be. As you emerge from the pit, you find yourself... It's a meatball pit. <laughs> at the checkout lane. Okay. You can see the exit ahead of you. Oh, Randall Park might be in the Aquaman sequel, Jason. Oh, shit. Jason, okay, you're making things he's... happen. Yeah, maybe he's... I just haven't followed up on him. Mm -hmm. And the flash of police lights. Oh, shit. You are grabbed by the hand and dragged out of the store. <gasps> You'll never forget how it feels to have that uniformed arm grab you. Oh, my God. Yeah, creepy. Uh, you are thrown in a room labeled, uh, horse, horse, horse meat, uh, horse meat room. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, you see a pile of horse meat. And oh, this you, ties in very nicely. <laughs> and you get to eating it and gain a hundred pounds over the next few weeks. We're in there that long? Yeah. Wow. You well, I don't want to say overnight no because then I feel like we're going to die. Oh. Helena also gets to eat the horse meat Helena. and gains 200 pounds. Wife? Yeah. When you are finally released, all your possessions are gone. Oh, God, no. My possessions. Well, I guess I'm in the store where I can buy all the things I really need. Let me go shopping. 
you're just about to leave when you're like, oh, I could pick up a few things. And yeah. There it goes. You're back in. Yeah. Let me get a cart. <laughs> and then I credits fade to black. Over Blood 2, where hamburgers cost $50? Whoa! In the real world, there are places where hamburgers cost $50. Oh my god, yeah. Like New York City. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll, do, we'll get the moral after this. Okay. This is a creepy one. Yeah, I'm spooked. It feels like the remnants of a dream. What's in the horse meat We're cocaine? Yeah, they're just always cutting it down. So you're never getting exactly what you want in the Ikea. Well, I learned that you can buy horse meat in some countries. I had no idea. Yeah, interesting. I think you can buy bear meat in some places. I think you can buy bear meat in Michigan, possibly. Really? Yeah, you can. Okay. Wait, uh, bear meat's supposed to be like, you have to really cook it. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard it's like, like a little bitter, parasite. too. Oh, well. No, oh, gross. After wandering the halls That's why I need for farm what seems bear. like hours, you've finally come across a room with a bunch of electronic gadgets and devices. The sharper image. You push the cart full of food <laughs> in front of you and enter the gadgets. <laughs> I think that's not... Con I think you should next it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in case. Because I don't think that sentence is finished. Yeah. Dr. Green Drops, the manager of the gadgets Once department. Inside, you turn on your phone and realize there is a text message waiting for you from Graham. <gasps> it's a picture of a cake with the words, you're dead. <gasps> oh, we were, that's a good ending. We were dead the entire time. It was a Beetlejuice situation. Oh we were my fucking, God. we couldn't leave the Ikea because we were dead. We were ghosts and we were bound to the Ikea. It makes sense. God damn it. <sighs> That's how it happened. It was in the Ikea. They were like, come on back with that forklift floral full of horse meatballs. <laughs> yeah. Burr, 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 crush. What's the worst that could happen? Come on. You got plenty of room. Thanks for the cake. All right. Hey, That's why we had visions. Hey, in the buddy, what's the moral of the story? Hey, that's going to tell us. The horse meatballs injured him, but it's the ball pit that killed him. Yep, it was a Jacob's Ladder situation, Biz. <laughs> you really should check for texts on your phone before you go into the IKEA because you would have saved yourself a whole lot of trouble. Yeah. yeah. Good thing Graham told you to open that door. Yeah. Thanks, Graham. Thank you, Graham. Jim's here in song, yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, let's switch to story two. You might find yourself reading story two and ask yourself how did I get here Woo. Woo. Uh, this prompt is by anonymous so thank you anonymous oh. whoever you are yeah Graham save this episode yeah there Watch you go it bookmark it it'll be on the YouTubes yep you are Sandstar, a space mercenary who makes a living doing tough contracts. Okay. You have been given a contract to steal the strange, a uh, st uh, strange gem, the Moonstone. Ah. Hmm. Uh. Which has the power to control gravity. The one who possesses it is Doctor Raindrop, but he is not alone. His disciple, the neuro, <laughs> the nano rat vampire known as Officer Cory, is with him. Oh, oh. yeah, that's right. That is I was going to say, off. I thought the Moonstone is familiar. Like, we, we had that recently. Yeah. We have, we have done, like, eight continuations from that initial nanobot story. The mission will be dangerous, and you must face your fears if you want to succeed. Ah, okay. Good luck. Mm. Thank you. It, wow. Uh, it's wishing us good luck. Good luck, Gumshoes. Time for a Time hat. For a hat. Yes. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Officer Corey. Nano Red Officer Corey here. Yeah. Uh, all right. What, we what would a space mercenary do? I assume we... Uh, the contract... Uh, 
tells states, you yeah. states the last known location. Of uh, Officer Corey. Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Raindrop's dragon now. A sewer filled with uh, werewolves. <laughs> Biz. People are already complaining on Twitter that Raindrop should be played by a woman next time. <laughs> Boom! Ah. Your job is simple. You need to find Officer Cory and bring back the Moonstone before nightfall. You can't let the werewolves get their hands on it, though. They're too powerful for that. Oh, well, I don't know how we're going to stop them if they're already too powerful. Makes sense that werewolves would be empowered by a Moonstone. Yeah, that does make sense. <laughs> and if they could control gravity, they can make it so the moon is always up. They could just drag the moon across the sky, keep it perpetually night. I'll say, you fashion a hairy disguise. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the barber and get, hey, uh, can I get all of your uh, clippings for the day? Clippings, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but they're all from different kinds of hair. Yeah, that's fine. We were, we were going <laughs> to donate them to Locks of Love. You got <laughs> half curly. You got curly patches. You got long straight. You got... Fucking extensions. We have mange. <laughs> uh. Once inside the sewers, you find a dangerous place infested with werewolves. Yeah, the the sewers. We we've established <laughs> this. No one here but us werewolves. Yep. <laughs> you go up to a werewolf and say, "What's up, fellow werewolf?" <laughs> Oh, that guy's a, that guy's a narc. <laughs> Anyone want to chase the ball? Mm -hmm. You rub your hand over the fur on your chest, proud of the fact that you are a true werewolf. Yes. Anybody hey, how else? Do we know the, how do we know the moon, the moon is full down in the sewers, guys? You ever wonder that? Yeah. Yeah, actually, all revert back. Yeah, don't you all think it's odd that we're sewer werewolves? I mean, how does that work? Uh, <laughs> uh, most of the werewolves ignore you, but one nearsighted. Uh, puny wolf, werewolf. Uh, walks up to you and introduces himself as Wolfman. Oh, fuck Wolfman. yeah! He pulls out a moonstone, which looks very much what? like the one you stole, <laughs> and says, Hey, have you seen this? Where the fuck did you get that, Wolfman? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and rip it out of his hand. Wow. That's exactly what I need, Wolfman. You swipe the moonstone from the werewolf. Oh, and uh, he turns yeah. it the uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who turns Back into Michael J. Fox. <laughs> hey, what are you doing with that? Hey, I'm not a teen anymore. I think he recently announced he's retired from acting. Uh -huh. Makes sense. Yeah, sad. That's yeah, kind of sad. You snatch the moonstone from Wolfman. He's a bit confused, but just shrugs his shoulders and goes back to his group. You follow him, trying to act like you know what you're doing. Mm. Mm. How, do you, how do you guys walk? I mean, how do we walk? I mean, this is how I walk now, right? This right? Anybody? I'm going to say uh, Michael J. Fox keeps yammering about something about getting back to the future. Yeah, Which jerk. annoys all the werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Shut up, Michael. We get it. Yeah. Under the bo- under the sea dance or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Something about your mom. You Whoa. drop the moonstone and run. Scared that you'll be caught you. Oh, God. We are the worst. Oh, God, yeah. We... We... It only totally makes sense that we finished the mission so early. It make, we were making it way harder on ourselves. Yeah. German D is a fan favorite voice, Mabel Bilbo. Yep. Everybody loves German D, Jason likes to say. Everybody that, loves that German D. Uh, I wish you'd say that in a different way, Jason. <laughs> what? You then remember your mission. Recover the Moonstone. Save Corey. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Mm. I can't be too scared of werewolves. But th- that'll definitely out me. We, Do you we... still believe there's good in Officer Corey, but he can be converted back to the light side? I think we're just following a hit. I don't think we really mm-hmm. do him that well, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Well, isn't he part of the IPD? Uh, but yeah, but uh, Sandstar is Sand just Star, a... no. Yeah, probably yeah. doesn't know him. It's true. Your kids are going to hate this just like stone. In time <laughs> and all the werewolves float away. Yeah, we have this amazing power of to control gravity. Why are we scared? This is your big chance. You run as chance. fast as you can, heading deeper into the Zevas. You have no idea where to go. So you just run deeper and deeper into the Zeva system. Oh god, now we're lost. You finally come across uh, Officer Corey. Sitting. Strapped. To a chair. And, Corey. And what looks... Like some underground laboratory. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see Uh-oh. he has tape over his mouth, which you pull off, and he says... That, that, that. Don't worry, I'm not going to bite you. Mm-hmm. He is holding oh. a strange device in his hand. He presses a few buttons on it and you are suddenly 10 years younger. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Take that. And you go, yeah. wow, that actually feels great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And now we are about the same age. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're around the same age. <laughs> now you are around my age. Prepare yourself for anything could happen to me and you because we're around the same age. I'm going to say uh, Corey leads you out of the se- sewers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great. Now we have to relive puberty. Oh, I know. How, how torturous. What do, you, what do you mean you can't serve me? <laughs> you are a lead to a very luxurious apartment oh. where you see a very lucky man who is not only younger, but whole entire decade. What? Corey, that's, that's a weird you way to saved put it. me. He exclaims, hugging the rat. <laughs> He's saying the guy's 10 years younger. Mm. But whole, you're like, you're a whole entire decade. Uh, Cory hands you the Ultima knife mm. and a plate of cheese. Is it made out of a Nissan Ultima? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I would like to repurpose things. This is an old. But this is a budget-friendly, reliable knife. Uh, Cory hands you the Ultima knife and says, "Would uh." uh I'll just say he hands you the ultimate knife. I want to see what the yeah. AI comes up mm-hmm. with. Don't you recognize this? No. You look at the knife and remember the terrifying night you lost it. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. You looked all over for it, but could never find it again. You have no memory of this knife. <laughs> Immediately contradict itself. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Remember like when you Corey lost it and you were like Corey... so worried about it, and then you have no memory yeah. of the knife. Corey slaps you. I know what a what a lack of yes hand. <laughs> Corey slaps you in the face. And suddenly you remember everything. Ah, there we go. Now we truly remember what we forgot. It was now. so traumatizing to lose this knife. We had to push it from our memory. Yeah. Also, it's a little rat slap, so it's just like, eh. Yeah. Know. He lost this knife at my friend's house. He was drunk and forgot I had it. Mm -hmm. It was a terrible mistake that I've lived with for years. Jesus. Corey seems <laughs> even more confused than before. I know, it's a fucking knife. Yeah, it's a fucking knife. And why would you bring a knife to a party? It was very weird. Yeah, you're that weird guy. Don't worry, guys. I'll cut the cheese with my own knife. The Ultima knife? Yeah, yeah. Made out of a Ooh. Nissan oh, Ultima. Oh, you need someone to slice that apple? <laughs> <laughs> Could use my Ultima knife. Yeah, you know, these carrot sticks are too big for me. <laughs> uh, a pizza's not small enough for you guys? Don't worry, I only yeah. want a half slice. Yeah, it's a limited edition. They took a Nissan Altima and made like 20 knives out of it. You remember the thing you <laughs> don't remember? <laughs> or we have short term memory loss? That's also interesting. Yeah. Corey seems to be equally confused, so. <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, I, I got it. Okay, you you realize you have lost uh, 10 years uh, oh, worth of memories. There we go. That's the side effect from uh, losing 10 years. The realization hits you hard. Oh. It's all flooding back to you now. Just a side you effect. have no idea who you are, and you're certainly not a werewolf. Your stomach turns at the thought. Okay. Is this the knife we put next to our ass balls? I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I forgot in real life, too, not just the story. <laughs> you can't deal with not being a werewolf. Oh, my God. What is my purpose? You check your, let's say, data pad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pull up this mercenary data pad. Yeah. I mean, it would be kind of suck if you were a werewolf and then you thought you were special and then realized you weren't. I call it entering your 40s. Yeah. No, werewolves exist, and we are one, but you aren't. Oh. Oh. Really? Am I a little bit werewolf? No, you're 0% werewolf. Can I Can become a werewolf? Objective. Yeah. Eliminate Dr. Raindrop. This is what we were told from the start. Get the stone. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to the moonstone? Yeah, we completely forgot. Yeah. We used it to float all the werewolves out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Corey, I'm trying to sneak around, but the clapping of my ass bulbs <laughs> keep the werewolves. <laughs> 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 Oh shit, yep. It's always all roads lead back to eliminating Dr. Hey, Raindrop. He has lost. You head out of the apartment and into the Zevas. Back you to the travel sewers. through the Zevas using your map to try to find the headquarters of the Wolf Order. Ah. You reach the headquarters. It is empty except for a single old man oh fuck. i've been i've been waiting for you oh fuck he says you are a lead past a huge lab where half man half wolf maybe this is the guy that hired every now and then one will growl or stare at you with yellow teeth and bleeding eyes wait what Maybe this is the guy that hired us. We don't know who hired us, right? That's true. The man introduces himself. Hello. I am Hello. Dr. Weardrob. Please take a seat. Oh! What a twist. Mm-hmm. 
He's been making the werewolves? Uh huh. He gestures to what looks to be a steel throne covered in blood and goods. Uh, I don't see a chair out there. Whoa, my God! <laughs> is that made of blood and guts? It sure is. It's my pride and joy. Uh, is that a stainless steel? Iron, iron throne, schmiron throne. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have any, uh, do you have any, like, cleaner seats? Can I sit on this floor? <laughs> I don't want to sit on that thing. Now you gotta sit on that thing. Okay. It all makes sense now, except it doesn't. That's all of our stories. <laughs> like, it makes perfect sense and no sense at the same time. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta take the dog out. I'll be back. Okay. You take a squishy seat on the throne. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like this might be a cliffhanger. Another cliffhanger into the great vampire Cory rat story. You take a seat on the throne as the doctor begins to talk. Now, tell me, how can I help you, sir? You take a moment to gather your words. Uh, I'll next and see if it comes up with anything and I'll get more. Like he runs a private practice and we just wander in off the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't know who I am? You have no idea what to ask. It is also terrifyingly strong to you. I want to be a werewolf. Oh! You proclaim. Simply, well, doctor. Oh, yeah. All right, next to that one more time, because that's that is a good cliffhanger. Normally, I, have to begins, I suppose you yeah. could start with something more simpler. Perhaps a cure for lycanthropy? You are not sure what to make of this request. <laughs> He's like trying to trick us into something he wants. <laughs> well, you could be a werewolf, or you could find the cure for werewolfism. Just saying, uh, maybe you want that. Even though you're not it's a werewolf. It's like the same thing. It's, kind of, it's like the same thing. Surely along the way to curing lycanthropy, you will find out how to get it. Yes, yes. I, I think that's, that's a to be continued again in the great saga that is. Sewer werewolves. Nanobot rat. <laughs> Officer Cory. Tune in next week. Hey, AI, can you tell us what we learned today? You should definitely make raindrop movie. Oh yeah, I mean we're building up quite. We might have almost ninety pages. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if this would make any sense at all. Actually, compiled into one story. Maybe I'll. I'll Don't think about try it. to reason with Snuffit. It's far too complicated for you. What is Snuffit? Who? Who is it? A person? <laughs> is it a drug? Don't reason with Snuffit. Uh, <laughs> we're very confused by the moral. Don't try to reason with Snuff It. All right, it it, it is beyond my comprehension right now. So yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I shall not, like life itself. Yeah, I shall not try to reason it. I will mm -hmm. not. In fact, I'm going to move right on to the last story of the night. It's the last story of the night. Story three. Ha -cha -cha. I'm excited for this one. This yeah, one, this one is by, uh, oh, wow. Bulk Bogan. So thank you, Bulk Bogan. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Bulky. Um, you are Captain Lou Albano, a former wrestler and now struggling actor. You played Mario in the new kids show, Super Mario Super Show. Right now, you're pre preparing to shoot an anti-drug PSA but the prompt was lost, so you reserve <laughs> for improvisation. You reserve for improvisation? Yeah, I don't know, though. You steal your reserves? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The Drugs script bad? is written by your yeah. friend Dan O'Brien, who also plays Luigi in the show. Ah. The story concerns a group of kids who discover that they can turn into animals and USA their powers to fight crime. Oh, we're kids. Yeah. Super I mean, cute we're kids are. Actually, that makes it sounds like drugs are good. Morphed. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, and I'm supposed to say drugs are bad? Uh, wait, am I advocating for or against these drugs? Animorphs? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Snuff it, an alien mobster from Venus. Uh, 
<laughs> and remember, kids, if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. <laughs> yep, you spend a long time there, and then you're dead. Yeah. You're dead. Uh... Nothing, an alien monster from Venus tells you the, uh, I don't know. What, what would you tell us? To swing our hands from side to side. Tells, no. tells you to swing your hands. Tells you, swing your arms from side to side. <laughs> Come on and do the Mario. I love you, Mario. <laughs> What does he mean? <laughs> you ask. He means, don't do it again. Snuff it says with a laugh. The opposite day for the AI. What? It's been a lot of problems where it's like, do this, now do the opposite. Uh, hold on, I'm going to undo and redo. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe because I messed up the quote. Let me, there we go. Fix both double quotes. Mario, go fish. You do as he says, and suddenly you are a monkey swinging his arms around. Your friends laugh at you, but Snuffit looks pleased with himself. Hey, what the heck? I'm a monkey! And I'm swinging my arms from side to side. Wow, so he's kind of revealed to us that we're an anamorph. Yeah. Or he's fucking with us. I feel like he's yeah, using his yeah. alien powers for... Oh, <laughs> thank you, Mario, but your ketamine is in another crack dead. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have eaten that pizza with all those mushrooms I would on love, it. I would love a very gritty, you know, Super Mario Brothers. You yeah. Know? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Nintendo. I feel like a lot of those have probably, but Nintendo is just very good at burying that or, yeah, threatening lit litigation or something. Mm -mm. I feel like with most other things, yeah. Okay. Are oh, you got that? Do you see the you 5,000 finishing... kgs of uh, cocaine? Oh, you're well, we're a couple behind. Your drug PSA okay. when you walk off stage to your 5,000 kilograms of cocaine. I hoard it so I know what not to smell. Okay, Mario, whatever. I mean, Lou. Lou! Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's what they call me. I'm going to get several. Character. You get several lines ready for your meeting with Tony. <laughs> ah, there we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What's Lou doing in this trailer? He was supposed to be out uh, two hours ago. He's, uh, he's meditating. Uh, okay. He's meditating. Okay. One of the it. actors yeah, playing McGruff, the crime dog, got caught doing coke. Interesting. You decide to walk through the forest to clear your head. But instead, you fall asleep and the cocaine makes its presence felt. What? You wake up still in the forest, but now as a rich person. Yeah, cocaine will make you feel like that. Yep. You brag to the woodland animals about how rich you are. If I was if I was poor, I wouldn't have all this coke, would I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> rich <school>. man. <sighs> you are so rich that after throwing a party to celebrate, you offer to give away all your money to the animals. <laughs> Of course they say yes. Oh, no. So you hunt out dollar yes. bills with one of the chimpanzees on the- Oh, this is monkey money! Lou, yeah. you're broke as hell! <laughs> no, it's real currency! You don't understand! We're gonna no. take over the world! George Chimpington! Anything. He could always tell a lie! <laughs> yeah. Uh, he ate a whole cherry tree. Yes. You guys just don't understand. We're printing a new constitution on banana leaves. Mm -hmm. The chimpo is going to be strong in a few years. Yeah. You just watch. Uh, also, I feel like a lot of people that do drug PSAs that are famous are just people who got caught doing something shady, and I, that's their yeah. community service. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to do those things. 
but they're yeah. just like forced by the court to be like all right you did something bad so now go do this drug psa except for tom hanks all of his typewriter psas are legit one of the squirrels says to you stop it get some help <laughs> Is that squirrel Michael Jordan? Yeah. Thanks, JT. <laughs> I didn't help it by just giving a villain laugh. Mm. Chimp <laughs> coin, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, it's real. Chimp I feel like chimp coin exists. Oh, it has to. They all look miserable, and you realize you never gave any of them jobs. You feel awful, but the squirrels say they'll be fine. They say they'll start a new business venture. Oh, we got a fucking next this. What's the squirrels <laughs> yeah. doing? Where are the squirrels up to? Oh, uh oh, oh. Oh, dear. The whole of oh, the dear. human world is run by big business now. No one will ever have a job again. What? Oh, so like, um, what do you call that? Minimum basic income. Ah. You ask the squirrels to explain their business. Yeah, yeah, please. Business idea. Well, see, we get the nuts, and then we hide the nuts. Okay, but how do you make money? What the fuck are you talking <laughs> well, about? Money. You make it up in volume. Yeah. We are going to be currency speculators. Uh. The squirrels laugh at God. their own idea, but you are enthusiastic. That's a great idea. It is this, nutty. What? This has MLM written all fucking over it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> currency speculators? What? what? They speculate about what curds? What? <laughs> yeah. You look at money all day? How uh, does that squirrels, make money? The squirrels ask you to get five of your friends to sign up for the business. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Isn't this a scam business? It's, it's sure sounding like one. Yeah. yeah. If you get 50 people, one of the monkeys humbles, but agrees. With your squirrel friends, you find a nice corner of the market to trade in where the price per ounce is highest. Oh, okay, we're we're offloading our uh our uh we're building our joke. downline. Yeah, 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 we're building our downline by offloading <laughs> our mountain of cocaine. Oh yeah, we should offer like a free brick of cocaine to uh <laughs> everyone who signs up. Your number one Customer is a weird turtle man. Oh, it's uh, not Corey? Uh, it could be a Corey. Wait, okay. let's see. Oh, you know what? At, you're a weird I'm turtle. A princess. Someone it, else buys my cocaine for me. Your number one customer is Corey, the actor playing Princess Peach. He wears a bucket instead of a crown. You just put the coke princess. right in the bucket. We sell cash for other currencies. I think that is a deal because, like, they are, there is like a fluctuating market of uh, exchanges. After a few weeks, the squirrels have made your friends a small fortune, and you earn enough from selling the occasional ounce to keep the business running. Mm, okay, let's not ruin it this time. I mean, last time I guess we thought we just thought we were rich, and then someone turned us into a monkey. So. The cops arrest you, and you're like, yes, sir, it's only the occasional ounce. Yeah, you can't bust me for an ounce. I got 5,000 kg. Oh, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean uh, what's that? Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> banana. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you said the exact word I was expecting to hear. <laughs> Otherwise, I was going to arrest you. Oh. Yeah, these you squirrels are selling cocaine. Oh, here we go. Yeah. And are and are sentenced to community service. Squirrels really control the animal marketplace. Yeah. They're the cartel. Yeah. You decide the easiest thing to do would be to make a drug PSA. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Back where we started. Don't be me. I'm not, not <sighs> the guy who should be it's giving you me. advice. 
It's a me, Albano. <laughs> you successfully land a spot on an anti drug show. Oh, it's a whole the show. The make the first million. You earn enough from your bit part to keep the business going, and that's it. Oh, so now our business is just an anti drug show. Wow. Ah. You, you make millions by visiting schools and talking to kids about not doing drugs. By what? <laughs> Visiting pools? And remember, drugs are cool. I mean, not cool. <laughs> oh, schools. I thought you said pools. What do you think I said? Cools? What are those? I pools. thought you said pools. Like, oh, pools. <laughs> like uh, public pools. You open a media up here with you Empire. and your friends as the leading celebrities. You make tons of money off movie plots, video games, TV movie shows, plots. books, <laughs> toys, plots. cloths, literally hundreds of things. What'd uh, you do today? Oh, we went to theater and listened to a movie plot. It was awesome. Way better than watching an actual movie. Uh, okay. He says schools are where the money is. <laughs> uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. Oh, good luck spelling that one. Uh, slaps yeah. you with an uh with a lawsuit. Avant garde spoiler theater. Claiming you stole everything from Super Mario. No WandaVision spoilers. Oh. Mario's backstory says he is a drug addict. <laughs> oh no, Shigeru wins! Mad. He wins and you have to pay him a settlement, which bankrupts your company, oh, no. which then goes out of business. You go bankrupt, lose your house, and are homeless. Damn! Oh man. As fast as you can rise, you can always <laughs> fall a lot way faster. Yeah. You move in with Princess Peach by the overpass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at me in the eyes! Right. This, unfortunately, is the castle I live in. Yeah, yeah, this is the right castle, Mario. You became poor way too quickly, yeah. Hey, that's what happens. Don't, don't steal from Shigeru Miyamoto. Yeah. That guy. He, lo he always looks happy because he knows, I could sue everybody, anyone, and win instantly, and make them homeless. That's why I'm so happy! Yeah. SHE gives you a job as a janitor at the Mario factory. Oh god. You live a life of mediocrity, no. working at the factory and slowly recovering from your financial problems. Oh god, that's so sad. I have to go work at... Oh my god. Nintendo owns this town though. I have to go work at the Mario factory, <laughs> making Mario dolls. I used to be Mario. Shut up, Lou! Clean the floors! You All believe right. this janitor says he used to be Mario? Stupid idiot. Swing my arms. Okay, I'm that? gonna say, uh, yeah. you finally get out of debt. You celebrate by buying a pair of Hagar wrinkle-free slacks. Okay, yeah. Let's clean up. This is our life now, small victories. Yeah, exactly. You finally get out of debt and buy a house with your brother. Oh, wow. You are mm. not sure what you'll do with it, though. Luigi. You feel you've lost the drive to start something new. Ah, that is too real. Yeah, I mean, man. Once you've, like, risen and fallen and risen and fallen and then hit rock bottom. Yeah, yeah what, is a, what is a Mario Factory? I didn't even think about that. Uh, yeah, what would they... Make an Amiibos, maybe? Or, uh... Oh, we could be become a plumber. Oh, shit. Yeah, there you go. Your brother. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Your brother Luigi <laughs> offers <laughs> you a, a plumber's apprenticeship. I didn't know Hagger was an actual brand of slacks. I was like, are you talking about the guy from Final Fight? Oh, the yeah. Mayor? No, no. That's like, a, <laughs> it's like a jokey kind of like they, they always talk about it in like <laughs> SNL. They'll mention like Hagar slacks or something. <laughs> it's just like, you know, very affordable clothing. Gotcha. 
Do you find a JC Penny or something? You think about it, but decide you'd rather work for your family's plumbing supply company. All right, plumbing adjacent. You take a job at the supply company and eventually buy it from your family. Lou's had a wild life. I know. Yeah, wow, well, you know. You sit down to your 12 inch TV and tea and microwave dinner. Yeah. And watch one of your old drug PSAs. Ah, uh, there you go. Remember the good old days? <laughs> this, is so, this is so sad. I know, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I used to be with it. <laughs> it's the Zameball Pelosi was caught half in her purse at one time. What? what? It makes you laugh because now you're in charge of a huge government agency and you haven't even taken drugs in years. You wake up to find you are the president of the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't even taken drugs in years. Uh, Mr. Most President? Uh? Most huge government agencies <laughs> have drug users at, their, at the top of the line? That's, That's the implication? Why? The princess. Why did it bring Pelosi? <laughs> Elsa, you and the Princess Marion have a daughter whom you name... Cindy Lauper. Ah. He was the dad and the girls just want to have fun video. Gotcha. Eventually, S.H.E. marries a guy named Long John Silvers and they have a son together. <laughs> that's really... Wait a second. I... No one calls you Long Lou. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Long John Silvers? That's weird. What the... <laughs> what? So we found a measure of happiness. Yeah, I guess. Cocked in our own <laughs> happiness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Princess Bleach. <laughs> uh, all right, well, I'm very curious to see what the story, the moral of this is. That was an interesting story. Oh, hi, Jim. Hey, I can hmm. tell us what we learned from the story. Yeah, let's do it. More Thailand. Thailand. <laughs> What's the moral of this burger? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I still have that clip and I watch it. I go, what was on my mind? Burgers, clearly. Burgers. Burgers. Yeah. But things happen to you because you try to do good. Ooh, I, ew, I don't know how I feel about that one. Let's maybe this read is what that. Lou does to himself at night. Yeah. Bad things happen. To you. Anyone can make money in America. All right. <laughs> you are not sure what the moral of your story is. It's a good thing you're the all-powerful, all-knowing writer. Whoa, yeah, uh, I guess. I guess it's uh, all right. Emily, is Emily sassing us? <laughs> I feel like Emily sassing us a little bit, being yeah. sarcastic. Yeah. Wow, it must be nice. Man. Yeah, <laughs> must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're new, we do this every night at 8 p.m. Eastern. We do a trilogy of AI dungeon stories with prompts from users like you. And if you want to fill out a prompt, you can go to this little Google form and fill it out, and uh, we'll do it in a future episode, probably. Yay! Um, and I think we're going to be doing Haiku Wednesdays, so if you want an extra oh. sure to get a prompt in, for Wednesday, uh, do a high, make a haiku prompt. So that's five seven five with the uh, uh, what syllables. It? Syllables, yeah, yes. So uh, uh -oh, that I should think be fun. Lou Golden Tusk is a big fan of haikus. Please, I'm also excited for Haiku Wednesday. Haiku <laughs> Wednesdays. It'll be a new thing, and that you know what that means. New day, new theme day. New theme jingle, so yeah, get ready for Haiku Wednesdays. And if you, but if, I, I assume that the words to the song will be five seven five. Oh, oh, oh there, it has to be now. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, uh, Haiku jingle, also Haiku. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that, and uh. Give us a follow and make sure to tell your step Mario's, your step Luigi's, your step Lou Albano's. Step uh, Snuffets. 
Yeah. Your step Graham Montgomery's. <laughs> your step Ikea's. Yeah. Uh, uh, your step your werewolves. Step werewolves. Yeah. Yep, hey, step werewolves. Jinx. Oh, group mind. Yeah, yeah. Your step Moonstones. Your step Pelosi's. <laughs> yeah, that was so random. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and your step long John Silvers and step Cindy Loppers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and see you tomorrow at 8. Bye, Ho Wee Wee, everyone. Bye, Ho Wee Wee. Bye, Ho Wee Wee, guys. Good night, Wee Wee. Good night, Bye. Wee Wee. Uh, thanks, Jim. Uh, thanks. Whoa, where did that come from?